Boxing Truth here, back with another video. Make sure to smash that like button, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right, second prediction video of the day. Let's talk about an interesting fight on the zone today. A crossroads fight at 154. Leon Smith versus Anthony Fowler. A lot at stake in this fight for both fighters. Smith wants to go back to world level with a win and possibly challenge for another world title. He's uh, had his opportunities. He's very experienced and has been in there with the name names of the 154 pound weight class. Anthony Fowler is trying to make his mark, steadily rising the, the rankings, and now this is his shot. This is an opportunity to prove that he's a world class fighter. And he'll be fighting the best fighter to date of his career when he faces the. the veteran and Liam Smith. Smith is only 33 years old, but he looks 43. And he might be 43 going into this fight because of the wars and the punishment he's been taking in his last few fights. So this fight is practically almost 50-50. Smith is the slight favorite because of his experience, because of his familiarity. And he's the guy who's been in that world level and has been a world champion. Fowler has not. He has a lot to prove, fighting mostly domestic level, and this is his big step up fight against a, I would say, a faded but still capable fighter in Liam Smith. Smith's coming off a close defeat against Korbanoff. It was a close fight. Some some thought Smith won. Some some believe Korbanoff did enough. Close fight. He got he lost a close decision on the road, which was expected. He got beat up against Jaime Munguia, took a lot of punishment, but showed toughness in that fight. He's uh, been knocked out, he's been beaten, he's been dominated, and now he's coming off a loss, and one has to wonder what's much left going forward. Fowler, all the momentum sees him to be on his side, he's been streaking. Since the split decision loss to Fitzgerald, he's gotten knockout victories. He looks like he's the younger, well, he is the younger guy. He's the fresher guy. He looks to be the bigger guy. But is this a little too soon or is this too big of a step up? Well, let me tell you right now, if, you know, if Fowler can't beat Liam Smith, he might as well just hang up the gloves. Because he, if he loses, he lost to a past his best, faded, guy who was not no longer a champion not really not really considered a top 10 54 pounder i would say I th he i would still say he's world class but he's maybe a top 15 guy if he can't beat this version of a smith foul needs, needs to forget about pursuing boxing or pursuing a world title or even he just think he needs to think about another line of work if he doesn't win this fight today let's just put it that way but the momentum's on his side. He's going to be coming in confident, but he doesn't have the experience. He's a, you know, he's a big guy from 54. He's displayed some power. It's going to be a good fight. Both guys are aggressive. You know, they like to land big shots. Smith is is solid on the inside. Still, still durable. Still has some some decent power. So, I expect a war. I just wonder if Smith has enough left after the fights he's been in, especially after taking punishment against Korbanov, getting beat up by Mogia, getting stopped by Canelo. But you also have to wonder, does, does Fowler have enough experience? Has he been battle-tested enough? We all know Smith is battle-tested. Can't Fowler dig deep? Because gonna, there's going to be some tough moments in this fight. For Fowler. There's going to be moments where he's going to have to ask himself, do I really want this? It's going to be a physical fight. There's going to be his conditioning is going to be tested. He's going to get tired and have to say to himself, do I really want this? Am I good enough? This is a tough fight to pick when it was first announced. It's a good fight. Very interesting fight. A faded contender against a rising prospect who is trying to get into content tendership status trying to become world class the odds are almost 50 50 smith being a slight favorite 
I know people with familiarity will pick Smith because they feel he's been he's been battle tested. He's been he's been in he's been swimming with the sharks. He's been in the deep waters. We know all about Smith. We know how good he is. We don't know how good Anthony Fowler is though, and that's the question. That's what makes this fight very interesting. But looking on the outside, I think Smith. I think the hour, the sand in the hourglass of Smith is running out. And now after coming off the, the off the loss against Korbanov in the uh, physical fight that it was, what really does he have left coming off a loss in another war? And Fowler is young. Well, he's not the youngest guy, but he's three years younger. He's a lot fresher. He hasn't been beaten up like Smith has in his career. So it just makes you wonder when when it's getting tough, will Smith have enough left to overcome and get this victory? I'm leaning towards a guy who is younger, fresher, has more momentum, and has more upside to him if he wins. Smith is never going to be champion again, not with the current champions that are at the weight class. He's just not good enough now at this stage. He's really a gatekeeper now. Nothing more than that. And this is Smith's chance to prove that he's not a gatekeeper. But I really Smith. I just see Smith. That's that's all he is right now at this point in his career. Nothing more than a gatekeeper that will never get back into title contention. And Fowler has more upside. He's the, he's the younger, fresher guy with more momentum. I'm leaning towards Anthony Fowler. I can see it going to distance. I see it going to distance, possibly a late stoppage, but I see Fowler getting the nod in this in a closely contested fight. I think politics will get in the way and allow Fowler to get a close decision. Y'all let me know what y'all think, who you got. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.